welcome back to the channel everyone check out my new camera we're still working on some setups but hey what's up i'm here in the flesh joining me today in a very 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 special tier list today is my good friend surge surge how are you doing so <laughs> today i thought it would be fun to rank every single Pokemon regional form and ev new evolution. Starting from the top, we have Maximum, maximum hardness. hardness. These are the Pokemon whose designs have just really gone and cranked it up to the next level and just perfection upon the original design and objective improvement. Coming in under that, we have Extreme Makeover Poke Edition. These are for the ones, I know you remember that show, they come in, take your house, demolish it make it look a little better that's this show or that's this tier <laughs> in the middle tier we have decent fan art which is pretty self-explanatory but it's like wow this was the official design that's pretty cool i guess underneath that we have bdsp graphics where it kind of looks like the original but just not <laughs> and in the final tier we have back, back to, to the, the dark, dark ages, ages. These are for the Pokemon that need to be banished to the Shadow Realm. Get rid of them. Get them out of here. We don't want them in our Pokemon games. All right, so let's just jump into it with Hisuian Arcanine. Honestly, I'm still a big fan of this design. I quite like it. I'm a, a big fan of the armor uh, components of it, and I just like the coloring of it as well compared to the original. It's freaking Power Ranger dog. I like it. Yeah. Would you put this in Maximum Hardness or Extreme Makeover Poke Edition? I'll put this in the first tier. It's maximum Hardness? Let's go. You know very well this thing is top tier. Oh, yeah. So on to the next regional form, we have Galarian Articuno. As far as this one goes, I think its design is pretty unique compared to the original. I feel like I would put it in decent fan art. What about you? Cause it doesn't. Yeah, I was gonna say here. Yeah, it doesn't wow me or anything. It just looks like Articuno, but with uh, cool sunglasses on. <laughs> How do you feel about Hisui and Avalug? I'm torn between the first and second tier. The first and second. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't torn. know. I, I I thought I was torn between decent fan art and BDSP. Cause I don't like the original as much as I, I like the shiny version a lot better. I think the original just looks like a, a dude with a big old beard. Also, it's got like just yeah, really, really bad typing. So like, I mean, I'll meet you in the middle and put it in the you know this... actual middle. <laughs> yeah, I would put it behind there. I, I don't. I just, it's it's just not doing a whole lot for me, especially type wise. Although I I'll give Arcanine a pass for his bad type because it's freaking Power Ranger dog. How can you not? How do you feel about the Hisuian Basculin over the original? It's not too much of a difference. Yeah, I don't really think it adds much to it. I think it's pretty fair to put it in BDSP graphics. This is like the the chibi version of Basculin, basically. Basculin, on the other hand, though, is going straight up to the top tier. Because this is just, what an awesome fish, man. That's all I can really say. What a cool fish. It's like a little tiny fish. Yeah. It's got good you know, it's stats, too. Fish at that point. It's got good stats, and it's got uh, like that ghostly design, too. Really plays into a lot of its lore, which is, like, we love lore here. So, yeah, honestly. Top tier. Braviary, however. Hisuian Braviary. I really like the original Braviary better. I think this one's kind of a downgrade. Part of me keeps thinking Big Bird for some reason, but no, that's not what I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of something else. Uh, I don't know, Big yeah. Bird. It's a big oh. bird. I'm just. That I'm looks just... majestic. Okay. Do you think? Do you think it goes? Uh, where do you think it goes? Because I'm, I'm not really super big on this one. I'm tempted to just put it in BDSP graphics. I don't really care for it. And I think I would put Rune Regis in 
decent fan art. Well, I kind of like it actually. Let's put. I would. How about the first extreme makeover Poke Edition? Because it is quite an extreme makeover. <laughs> and I like how it puzzle pieces itself into each other, with, as with the art and the stone pieces. Coming in from the, coming in hot from the depths of the ocean, we have Galarian Corsola. And as a concept, can I just say I love. The dead coral idea especially for an industrious place such as england it makes sense that corsola would just freaking die and become withered and ghostly i might wow in america that junk is still alive but anyways <laughs> yeah i'm gonna slide that into maximum hardness because i think that is just a a perfect uh regional form transition it makes sense it's like lore wise and the design is, is completely on point. I agree with you. Yeah, and I would say to a lesser extent with Cursula, um, I'm not sure. It's does does not as strong of a design to me, but it is still decent. I would put it in an extreme makeover Poke edition. Next in mm. alphabetical order is Galarian Darmanitan. I don't know about you. I think this guy gets an S design for me. It gets a bit of a, what is that, technically A plus or A? A uh, maximum hardness, or do you mean extreme makeover Poke Edition? Whatever the second one is, the oh. uh, orange. Extreme makeover? Yeah. I can give I can give you that, high extreme makeover. It looks alright, it got, it got the snow afro and everything. Yeah. It's the alternate form, though. The oh. ultimate form looks good, though. Maximum, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Let's throw a, <laughs> let's throw a Galarian uh, Dar Darumaka into the end of Poke Edition. He's a little, <laughs> he's a little chilly cold boy. <laughs> Next up, we have Hisuian Decidui and. Uh, as the objective best starter form in the Hisuian region, I think he earns himself a spot in maximum hardness. I'll, I'll give you that. He just, he's just, he's the only one who's not just the same Pokemon, but with different colors. Like, he has, we went through a complete physical change. And I, that's, that's really what a lot of the times what I'm looking for in my regional variants is more than just a palette swap. I'm also looking for more than three single hairs added onto their head. So I'm going to do us all a favor and make Diglett our first Back to the Dark Ages spot. Honestly, well, honestly, you know what? I, while I'm at it, I'm going to put Duck Trio in there too. Because that's, that's, I don't like it. What, Duck Trio? Yeah, I don't like Galarian Duck Trio. It's just so uninspired. And it's not very good. It's not very good competitively because Diglett has horrible defense, and its special ability of requires on its like it's like based on its defense. Just not a very well thought out Pokemon all around. I feel like. All right, Hisuian Voltorb, is oh wait, that's not Voltorb, Hisuian Electrode. I am still in the very in the middle of the road on this. I will put it like, in the end of decent fan art i still like the concept i don't like how it's angry i know it's just uh because you know original voltorb electrode is happy but this one's angry i just i don't know i do like how the mouth looks a little different i think yeah it looks a little more animated compared to its original it could be just that way how it's colored in but it's looks yeah. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. It's like, you know, here in this world where technology gathering materials is not like, you know, easiest one, two, three, so you gotta use what's local. And as you can see, back in the day, it was locally made from what's like trees, but then over time, either it was man-made at some point, or now, or it's still man-made, or it's just, okay, I found metal. We mm -hmm. eat metal. I, uh, what, what if I don't want you? You stay as that type. We're going to eat metal and become hard. So do you want me to change its typing at all? Or its uh, placing? 
Mm, stay there. Okay. But no spoilers. I hate that fight. Anyways, I'm on the final fight, but I, you know. Yeah. That fight is one of the ones I actually had trouble with. You know, I, I think it. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> let's let's move on to Hisui. Oh my god, I keep saying Hisui and when it's definitely not. It's just because it's so new. Alolan Executor. It's a really tall palm tree. Got a big old neck. Gains the dragon typing. So it adds an extra weakness to ice. And a weakness to fairies, and it gains the, at least it resists fire. It takes neutral damage from fire. I don't know. I'll put, I would put. I don't know where I'd put this honestly. As a design, I don't really see the dragon uh, inspiration. I would probably put it behind Electrode. Honestly, I just don't really see it. I think next. Okay, so next up we have. Galarian Farfetch'd, and I have to say, I am just a big fan of this line overall, the new Farfetch'd line. I think fighting type and giving it that big old leak is just hilarious, so I, I would put that in Extreme Makeover, and Surfetch'd is just like peak design. I love Surfetch'd. I love his his uh, leak crit moves. He has like five moves that have 30% chance to crit. You give that bad boy a leak, he's a non-stop crit machine. I think that easily earns him a maximum hardness spot, just because of the amount of crits this man can consistently put out. So, it's, I don't know how to say his name right, but the Elite Four from X and Y, uh, Sable, or Cybold, or whatever? Yeah, Seabolt. He would love this Pokemon. I know they have the same typing like he's a water type user and stuff yeah but he would definitely use this one right here either seabolt or this Rickstrom. alongside of aggie slash aggie slash whatever but yeah oh yeah this dude is is chivalrous af all right <laughs> so we go from the chivalrous handsome birds to the dude who needs a haircut from his barber uh alolan g dude is i i kind of listen to this thing back to the dark ages <laughs> it's just Geodude with friggin the hair <laughs> really There's bad hair you. yeah stubble it's a pub dude not the image um, i wanted to wake up to today i don't think it was pretty cool like that you think it was pretty but cool not pretty cool it was, it was like like yeah it's here you want me to put him in i'll put him i'll put him in bdsb graphics just for you yeah <laughs> Alolan Golem, on the other hand, one that's just fun to say. Alolan Golem, Alolan Golem, Alolan Golem, but also he's got like the he, that's like this is like one of the only other Pokemon in the series to get like like another cannon added onto their back, like Blastoise cannons. And I I kind of respect that. They said Golem needs a cannon to shoot rocks off his back. I'll slap this guy somewhere like in the middle of. Extreme Makeover Poke Edition, because I really, I kind of, I like it. It's goofy. He has a cannon on his back now. Like, that's awesome. Cannon? He's a freaking Bakugan launcher now. <laughs> yeah. He, doesn't he, doesn't he launch Geodudes from his, his, uh, cannon? I'm pretty sure. No, that's, that's not Rhyperior. Oh, okay. Honestly, I, I can see them, hands. I can see them playing catch with each other, though. Like, it, that would be a nice little, little oh, fun God. experience. Now, at that point, freaking uh, go and be like a ball in the cup type of thing. Yeah. Okay, that one. Now, this is where we get into a design I don't like, but the rest of this Pokemon is just like god tier, and that's Hisui and Gudra. Because I really wish they did more with the Gudra part of his body, besides just throw a shell on his back, like a a anything really. I guess they kind of made his front antenna a little longer, but that's not really much. Yeah, I don't know. It's but the typing, Dragon Steel, and his stats are just like incredible, top of the line stuff. Like, she still, she still, I see. Yeah, still. using him in this in the game has definitely made my opinion of him go up. But I think it only earned him like a solid extreme makeover Pokey edition. Up next, we have a Lowland Graveler, and I will put this guy in decent fan art. Because it really is just like, he fell down and got a bunch of splinters. <laughs> Alolan. Next up we have Alolan Grimer. 
I'll slap a Lowland Grimer into BDSP graphics. I mean, the green is I don't not the biggest fan of the shade of green and yellow with him. Kind of looks like one of the the Basculations. So I'm not too fond. Do you of. remember why it's like that though? Why it's green and yellow? Yeah. So the oil, the yellow is oil. So yeah. I forgot what the green was. I think the green was like uh, what was it liquid or something? I don't. Know. I think it's the like, yellow part uh, is like re represent oil. I do think there is. Uh, a way to redeem this design, but we just we're not quite there yet. Do, would you like me to move this into decent fan art? Yeah, it can stay right there where. Because right now it looks like he was just like eating so a bunch of really greasy food and got like a little like oil oil beard, you know. It doesn't look like part of the there's design. There's some good designs. It's just that some have good history or why they're made. This is that why is it drawn or is it like that? Yeah, you know? I'll, I'll move him up to the top of BDSP graphics. It's like there's a little more thought behind him than just, ooh, we're going to give it hair. <laughs> uh, speaking of just giving things hair, we have Hisuian Growlithe. They just added, in, added on some hair, but I think it worked. It turns him into a little, like, food dog statue. I would put him at the top of decent fan art. I don't know. I just, Fire Rock is, like, not a good typing, and Arcanine made it to maximum hardness just on aesthetic alone so I, I think this seems pretty fair pretty much yeah next on the list we have hisuian lilligant and i am just in love with this design i think it looks like a digimon and everybody knows how much i love digimon so this gets a maximum hardness for me i don't watch steven universe like that but it gives me that you know that pearl vibe at the same time i'm like it really took you know, the one Pokemon that be, you know, it dances, it loves the sunshine and everything. You know, the elder, I don't even know how to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster Point Girl type. They took that dancing part of it and made it, you know, solely dancing. Yeah. When and it you, looks like a, like a dancer, a ballerina. Dancing is a very physical, like, you off. it's a very physical activity too, so the fighting type uh, fits it very well. Next we have... <laughs> Galarian, Lanoon, and I think Lanoon, this is a pretty good design. I like some of, I like uh, its other forms better, but I would put this in like a high, decent fan art. I think it's overall pretty so, good. So, you know what they said for, not the control, but you know what they said for the uh, Zigzagoon line? The Galarian one? Now, this is supposed to be the original line, right? Yeah, supposedly. This is the, or it is the original, I mean. Yeah. Which is wild. Well, the, from being party like a rock, party like a rock star, kiss, yeah, you know, type of thing to being. Hi, I'm an introvert. Well, and if, docile. If that's the case, then if this is, I would, I guess, that, technically, that would put the original Lanoon in decent fan art, and so this guy would get moved up to extreme makeover. But I will, I will say this, Obstagoon. Number Obstagoon is definitely going into maximum hardness. I swear, if Obstagoon met uh, Guzma, I swear they would. They would hit it off. The oh yeah. Handshake. Probably the biggest hug. I think they would really hit it off. Oh my god. Speaking of hitting off, I think this design for Alolan Marowak is really popping off. It's got a complete type overhaul, and it really makes use of. Like both of its aspects of like the fire and the ghost. I think I would put a Lolan Marowak probably like in the top of Extreme Makeover Poke Edition. Yeah, that one's good. I like I, the Firebone is just like a really a uh, Firebone Tiki Dance is just a nice cute touch too. What's not cute though is this these these uh, Meowth variants. Like, what's the point? I don't know. I, 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 it's, I like sassy it's, meows. It's Hawaii. It's Hawaii. It's Hawaii. The cat's just chilling. This one's yeah. like, just vibing, man. I'll put sassy meows. I'll give sassy meows like right behind Alolan Grimer and BDSP graphics. But Galarian meows is getting sent back to the Dark Ages easily. Wow. Get him out Lightning of here. cat. You like Steel Catman? 
What about Berserker, man? Yeah. Berserker. I kind of like Berserker design. I just don't like it as a Meowth design. But we're not at Berserker yet. We gotta hold off on that because Galarian Moltres is here to become the newest member of the Maximum Hardness tier. I think it's gonna be a pretty high one too. Because Galarian Moltres, I mean, look at it. It's it is a demon. It's an that's a literal demon. That's all I can really say about it. And that's it's it's. it's I mean, perfect. I mean, there is a destruction Pokemon out there that's dark and flying. You know, it's a bird, it's a plane. Oh, nah, it's my it's boy. It's Mandibuzz. You're yeah. talking about Mandibuzz, right? The dark and flying type. Murkrow. Oh, Murkrow. 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 Right. Yeah, this is like the this nah. is this is like the Digimon, the mega form of all those dark and flying nah, types. I was, you know, I was talking about. I don't know, say right. Yvetel <laughs> or Yvetel. whatever. Yeah, Yvetel is like the the burst mode. <laughs> Speaking of burst uh, modes, I'm going to burst a blood vessel if I keep having to look at Galarian Mr. Mime. You send it back to the Dark Ages. Get him out of here. The, that's the one design I still don't get. I'm going to look, even when you keep talking, I'm just going to look it up on yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah, Mr. Mime, can, Mr. Mime can go. Mr. Rhyme, however, can get uh, a, a decent fan art. I'll put him like in the middle because... He's, it's, it's not the worst design in the world, Mr. Rhyme, as, as a Mr. Mime evolution, like, if Mr. Mime wasn't psychic, it was still just like a psychic type, I could see it happening. I don't know what the Charlie Chaplin thing has to do with ice, maybe it's like its feet are made of ice, I don't know. But, decent fan art for me. And now the reason I put, uh, Alolan Muck into BDSP was because I wanted to just really show how much really I wanted to really show my appreciation to Alolan Muck because this guy I, I love this guy I used him in my playthrough of Sun and Moon and he was just a, a really solid mon and I like I love his design he has an uh, incredible typing I would put him and I'm putting him in maximum hardness Alolan Muck is like it takes the muck and it, it's it rolls with it it got it has a it turns into a, a chemical oil spill with like weird crystal growths in it and it's just it, it takes the design and just cranks it up to uh, to eleven and it doesn't have a weird oil beard going growing on its face. Mm -hmm. So I think another just like maximum improvement of the design is a lowland nine tails. I think, like, everyone can attest, like, when you imagine Hisuian forms, this is, like, what you think of. It's, like, the fire, the fire spirit nine tails turns into the, the ice fairy Alolan. Like, it's just, the contrast is immediate. You can tell the difference. You can tell what they're going for. Like, the design is just impeccable. It tells you everything you need to know. And then we get to... Oh man, Galarian Persian, Alol Alolan Persian. Hey, who, who Alol doesn't like a purple fat Al head cat? Yeah, Alolan Persian is like the is definitely getting sent to the back ages, to the Dark Ages. It's just stupid. Wow. They just gave him a fat <laughs> head. I hate that. Just not a good design. I and the next one, Perserker. I, I I mentioned it earlier. I like his design, I just don't like that he's a Meowth evolution. So I would put this guy in probably decent fan art. Like, I'll give him like a, a little, I'll, I'll put him above uh, Electrode. Alright, next up we have Galarian Ponyta, a psychic fairy type. It's cute. I think it gets the job done. I don't really think we needed a, a new Ponyta, but I'll slap this 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 guy in the end of BDSP graph. Uh, decent fan art. We need ten more. It's ten more Ponytas. Yeah. Right now, ten more seasons. Ten more seasons. Uh, more. Next up on our list, we have Hisuian Quillfish, and I just compared to Quillfish. Look, we have it right here. 
so just like not a huge fan of this of this i mean i like the colors a little more but it is just basically the same thing so I'll, i'm kind of forced to put it into bdsp graphics because it's just the same pokemon but with two new colors honestly i feel the same way about overquill too i'm not the biggest overquill supporter outside of the name i think so i'll slap him into decent fan art i'll put him underneath the i'll move the ponytail up some because i'd be like <laughs> it's cute would you move it would you put it higher no, keep it right there. <laughs> okay. And then we have Alolan Raichu. I think Alolan Raichu is cute. It likes pancakes. I empathize with that. It's a surfer. I think it earns itself a spot up in like the higher tiers of decent fan art. I wish it was a mm. little a little better competitively. It's just like kind of fast right now. Kind of that fast, works. decent special attacker. And you would think you would think Galarian Rapidash would be a special attacker, but I'm pretty sure it's more physical. And I also it's just not a very good Pokemon. Yeah, it's more physical. I made a mistake there. Yeah, it's just not a very good Pokemon overall. Uh, it's kind of has no purpose. It gets outclassed by literally every other like physical psychic and or fairy type. And then oh my oh my god, I just I'm I'm I don't think we need to discuss why. Alolan Raticade is going into the bottom tier. And then Alolan, Rat Alolan Rattata actually had some potential. And they could have done something what really interesting with this. It was fun to fight against. I don't even remember fighting this thing. I <laughs> I'll put him in like mid BDSP graphics. I really just. It doesn't really stick out a lot, honestly. While we're talking about Pokemon that don't stick out. I think it's a good it's a good time to transition over to Hisui and Samurott. Because it really is just like... Especially if you look at the shiny. If you squint, you could barely even tell it apart from its Unovan counterpart. So I'll slap... I would slap Hisui and Samurott. Probably in decent fan art. <laughs> I don't think he's that, he's that good of a design, honestly. I love the original Samurott, but they didn't really do anything... To it. Next we have Ooh, Alolan Sandshrew. This guy's a cutie pie. He's cute. I'll give him I'll give him I'll put him up here with uh Growlithe in decent fan art. He's just cute. He's a cute little guy. They, he's really held back by his typing too. Which is the same thing for Alolan Sand Slash too. Ice Steel and Ice Rock just not very good typings. But his design is freaking pretty insane so i'll put him underneath extreme makeover poke dish in the very bottom because i love his like his ice mm. climber design and his spikes he went from sand slash to snow slash and i kind of like i kind of dig it sand slash snow slash yeah yo, yo you know what i just realized uh, because the next pokemon is cleavor but i also just realized that like scissor and like Licky Licky and those Pokemon are technically regional evolutions. Did you ever really think about that? Huh. Like Duskinor, Gliscor, Revile. Those should be on this list too. I guess Revile is technically, but like, I never really thought mm. about that. They're technically regional evolutions. From they're from the Sinnoh region, and for whatever reason, Meryl goes to Hoenn and has a baby. <laughs> Anyways, back to the tier list. Uh, Cleavor. <laughs> With, I like I like Cleavor. Pretty pretty decent fan. I'll slap him in Extreme Maker with Pokey Edition. And then the the Jotoan evolution of Scyther. <laughs> it's so funny to say that. Uh, I'm gonna rank oh, the Jotoan. I it's gotta be S tier, right? I mean this Scyther is like peak design for bug and steel type as far as it goes. I thought Scyther was done. <laughs> <laughs> no, they keep going. I can't wait for the the, the the I can't wait for the entire Scyther Evolution family. All right, so we go from one incredible Bug Steel type to one middling Dragon Steel type. And while it is good, like competitively, I think the design doesn't really get it out of BDSP graphics. Again, it's suffering from the same problems as Gudra, where it, like it needs just 
a little bit more. Like, it needs just a little bit more to it, besides just being in the shell. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 